French President Emmanuel Macron has likened rising nationalism and anti-migrant sentiment in Europe to leprosy. Macron's comments come ahead of a meeting of European leaders to try and resolve the continent's migrant crisis. Macron has also urged the French citizens not to give in to the anti-EU sentiment. Now he said, and I quote, I'm saying to you in the gravest terms, many hate it, but they have hated it for a long time and now you see them. Rise like leprosy all around Europe in countries where we thought that they would never reappear. These included friendships and neighbours who say the worst things and we become used to it. End quote. Now Macron did not reveal to whom he was referring to, but France and Italy traded barbs in the past week over Rome's refusal to take in a boatload of migrants rescued in the Mediterranean Sea. The 629 passengers who were on board the Aquarius were also rejected by Malta before being taken in by Spain in a case which reflected mounting anti-migrant sentiment in Europe. Joining me on the program is our uh, Bureau Chief from France, uh, Taha Siddiqui. Taha, thank you for joining us on the program. We've heard what the French President Emmanuel Macron had said. In a way, when we, if we can recall what was going to happen during the French presidential elections, there was also a fear of Frexit. What sort of tone is this and what does this imply? Well, uh, as far as uh, President Macron is concerned, uh, we've seen that you know one of the main uh, things that he campaigned for during his, uh, his uh, uh, election campaign last year was that he wanted a more inclusive Europe. Uh, and uh, with that, he also uh, said that he wanted France to lead uh, when it comes to uh, the, the acceptance of refugees and migrants coming from conflict zones. And uh, similarly, we're seeing that, you know, uh, the, the, the Macron government uh, has been in the recent past uh, uh, making laws as such for uh, facilitating the refugees, although there is some criticism uh, from some quarters saying that these laws are sometimes uh, create, are creating further hurdles for some refugees without documentation. But overall, we've seen that the French government under Macron uh, has been uh, uh, sort of uh, very uh, posi uh, facilitative and uh, welcoming towards refugees, and and this statement that comes today uh, to talk about the nationalism in the in the in, in Europe is ac actually a reference to what we've seen in the last uh, few months, and specifically just last week when we saw that there was a boat of migrants uh, with at least over 600 migrants and had no destination to go to and how Italy refused it. Uh, so similarly, we've seen that Germany has been positive and, and welcoming when it comes to refugees, but the southern parts of Europe have been negative or, or have been uh, anti-migrants. Uh, uh, and, and Macron is kind of uh, playing that role of uh, taking Europe on board and saying that we need to deal with the situation and we need to uh, understand the gravity of it and not uh, give rise to nationalism or, or the politics of uh, far right, uh, which talks about, you know, uh, negative, in, in a negative sense when it comes to migration and, and these refugees. Right. Thank you, Dayata Siddiqui.